Hello saxophone students. I hope you had a good holiday and you're ready to learn some new things. If you need to review how to put your saxophone together, please go back to the first video that I made at the end of last term and uh, make sure your saxophone is together properly. Make sure your neck strap is adjusted so that the mouthpiece comes right up to your mouth and you don't need to bend your head down to get to it. Please open your books to page six and we're going to start by playing our scale. That's our five notes here at the top of the page going down by steps. So we're going to play D, C, B, A, G. And if you need to review where to put your fingers, you can look at the black circles next to, next to there. And again, if you want to go back to the first video, you can uh, review your notes there too. So I'm going to play the scale for you so you hear how it sounds. So pause the video here and you can go over those notes a few times. Make sure you're getting a good sound. If you're not getting a good sound, just check that your reed is put in straight. Now, the song we're going to learn today is Rolling Along at the top of the page there. We went down to Hot Cross Buns first because that's actually an easier song. It only has three notes. But you, remi you might remember that those three notes were B, A, and G, and that's how this song starts out too. So it starts out with a B on the line, on the middle line there, and then there's A on the next space down, and then there's G on the next line down. So those are most of the notes in this piece. I'm going to play the whole thing right through so you can hear it, and I want you to just listen to me and follow the notes. So make sure you're looking number 14, and it's two lines. When you get to the end of the first line, make sure you look at the next line. here and say the note names with me. So it's B, A, G, A, B, B, B. And now we're going to play that together. One, two, three, four. times, play it nice and slowly until you get it, and then if you want to play it a bit faster, you can. But make sure you get those first two bars, and now we'll go on. So the next two bars here, if you want to say the notes out loud with me, it's A, 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 rest, B, D, D. Now this is a bit trickier because the B, D, D on the end is a little bit harder for our fingers. So remember, B is only your first finger down, but when you go to a D, you have to put all of them down, including your thumb. Okay, so that's the tricky bar. I'm gonna play those two bars, and then you can have a go. So pause the video there and go over those two bars until you get it. All right, now we're going to look at the second line. And if you notice, the first two bars of the second line are just like the beginning of the song. So I'll play them again, but you'll recognize it. Okay. 
Now, the last two bars of the song, the notes are A, A, B, A, G. So I'm going to play that for you. So you can pause the video there and go over that a few times until you get it. Okay. Now we're going to try playing the whole song together. So if you want to play along with me, you can. And if you don't quite keep up, that's okay. You can practice it on your own after this, but I'll play it slowly and you can try and play along. So I'll say one, two, three, four, and then we'll all play together. One, two, three, four. through it uh, as, as much as you want, nice and slowly, and then once you know it better, you can try going a little bit faster. So just before you go, I just want to remind you about the rhythm in this song. All the notes are one beat notes, right? So we have one beat notes that are called crotchets or quarter notes, and we also have one beat rests. So these are the one beat rests, the little squiggly lines, all right? So make sure when you're playing, you don't just skip over the rests. You have to count the rests all as one beat, okay? So all the notes and the rests in this song are either crotchet notes or crotchet rests, otherwise known as quarter notes or quarter rests. If you go back and play hot cross buns, if you remember, some of those notes were two beat notes. So these with the empty middles are called minims, or half notes, and you have to remember to hold those for two counts. All right, and also in hot cross buns, we had rests, two beat rests, which look like that, which you also hold for two counts. They're the, the little black boxes, are the minim rests or half rests for two beats. So just reminding you now that we have different value notes and rests, so make sure you count your notes and your rests. All right, good job. Um, enjoy your playing. Uh, you can go back and play all your old songs after you learn your new ones if you still want to play more, and next week we'll have a new video and learn a new song. Bye for now.